Lawrence Moroni here. I'm on the Coffee with the Googler stage on level two. And I have a great pleasure to chat with David Burke about Android M. And hopefully you've had a chance to download the Android M developer preview. I, I took a look at it last night and I've started calling it Android M. Mm. <laughs> you know, and uh, so Dave, welcome to the stage and uh, thanks for joining us. And you. you know, I, 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 I hear we had a, like a little bit of a fun last night with, or yesterday with the whole keynote and something that was on your watch face. Is that uh... <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm wearing this new uh, Huawei watch. It's super nice. And uh, I decided I wanted to hack up my own watch face. And uh, I was trying to think what I should do. So um, of course, people speculate about what the name of the new dessert's going to be. Right. So what I did was I created a watch face that basically alternates all my favorite desserts beginning with M. Ah. Uh, so it's very simple to code up. Uh, <laughs> Thanks you should open source that. Indeed. <laughs> uh, and then the, the actual doodles were drawn by Dan Sandler. Dan, Dan is um, uh, a wizard at creating amazing doodles. He does all our Easter eggs in Android. Okay. So he like literally whipped up like you know seven or eight desserts for me. Nice. And then when I went on stage, I decided, well, I might as well put one that's very easy to recognize from a distance. So I fixed it on Milkshake. And then when I was handing over to <laughs> David Singleton, I was like, and now I'd like to welcome David Singleton up to the stage to talk to you about Android Wear. And I, if you look at me, I'm kind of like really pronounced. So it worked out pretty well, because The Verge then picked up on it and put it on Reddit. And then it was like Reddit just goes Whew! And everyone's speculating. It's like, oh, it's going to be Milkshake. It's going to be Milkshake. And then I figured I'd wait a little bit. And then I posted on Twitter, and I took multiple shots of the of the watch you can see it's currently on marshmallow right now that's marshmallow okay it's marshmallow, i was wondering yeah it'll keep you, oh and there's malt ball or malt teasers as we would call it oh, i love malt teasers uh and so uh so that i post on twitter going you know rumors of milkshake are exaggerated uh, it actually has all my favorite m desserts so nice. my, my my favorite tweet was somebody somebody went uh it was like troll level keynote. <laughs> hey, if you're going to do it, that's the place, right? So we're just having some fun, but it's fun. Now, now, one of the things that struck me when you were talking yesterday about Android M was really the focus on quality. Right. right. I, I have a Nexus 5, and I upgraded it from KitKat to Lollipop last year, and I really like Lollipop. And I'm like surprised and like impressed that if we can have even more quality, right? So could you tell us a little bit about what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I, the way to think about M is, well, first understand M, you sort of have to think about what was L, right? Or Lollipop. And so with Lollipop, we uh, had literally the biggest release we'd built since the 1.0, um, like massive changes, right? So material design, which is our new design language. Uh, we had a 64-bit support. We right. changed the, uh, the runtime. Uh, we changed how parts of, of the network stack worked. I mean, we went kind of a little bit crazy, and then if that wasn't enough, we then did Android TV and Android Auto and Android Wear. So it was a very big release for us. We're super proud of what we did. Um, but you know, for, for M, what we wanted to do is we kind of we, we wanted to sort of go back to the core, go back to the basics, and think about the core user experience, okay. just like all the little things that you know we think we could have done, we could do better. And it's it's not really you know bugs aside, like of course we're fixing bugs, but like it's more about like well let's rethink really how certain things have worked since the beginning, and like can we make it better? And like if we do this across the board, can we really po come up with a very nice polished release? And that's really what M's about. Basically. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward. To it. I, I, one of the crowd pleasers yesterday was the volume control, right? right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say that is one of the things that I'm really looking forward to having improved. <laughs> yeah. So I think we, um, I think we, you know, with Lollipop, we over rotated on flexibility and probably made it a little bit more complicated than it should be. So good news is we simplified it, um, and it's it kind of works as you'd expect. Uh, but we also then did add a drop down that allows you to ch change the stream volumes, which is pretty handy because like often you'll want your media volume different to your alarm volume different to your earpiece exactly. volume for a call. And so it's just a very quick way of getting it, but it doesn't overcomplicate. Yeah. Um, so this was one of those examples of a little thing we changed that improves, improves yeah. the, the experience. Like, like, like when I'm listening to music on my phone, right. and then I get a Hangouts ding, yeah, exactly. and they're the same volume. Yeah, it's exactly. like, <laughs> right, so, so it's, it's good stuff. So. Easy to and another really neat thing that I saw was, um, I'm calling it granular app permissions. I don't mm -hmm. know what the actual, the, the proper name right, is, but right. like the way that you can actually, first of all, on demand have the right. app permissions instead yeah. of upfront, and, right, right. and then also the user can go in later on and change yeah. all the permissions. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, if you look at what, you know, when Android started out, we would ask for the permissions upfront before we install it. I think if you look at what's happened over sort of the last seven, seven years or so since we first launched the very first Android device, you know, mobile apps have got more and more complicated. They do yeah. more and more, right? Yeah. They're, they're, you know, location aware and they're like yeah. user aware and whatnot. And so, um, as a result, you're seeing apps with more and more permissions. And so, the problem with asking all the permissions up front is, it's you know, as a user, you start getting a little jaded. You're like, am I even reading this? And there's a long, I, a long list. list. How do I select the things I do or don't want? Yeah. So we decided it was time to rethink it. Uh, and so now we have you know, basically two things we've done. One is, is we've simplified the set of permissions to a smaller number of easily understood things. Right. And we sort of re-architected the platform around that so they fit into those buckets. So things like microphone access or camera access or location access. Right. And then the second thing we've done is we now, uh, rather than ask for them at installation time, we ask for them at runtime when the app okay. is actually running. 
And then we put, put a bunch of thought into little details like, um, you know, if, if the user or if the app asks and the user says no, the second time if the app asks, we're going to say never, the user gets a chance to say never ask again. Okay. But we do that the second time because what can sometimes happen is the user can accidentally press the wrong thing and then the developer was yeah. uh, uh, stuck. And so we, we put a bunch of thought into it. Uh, the other nice side effect of it is we've noticed that if you have an app and you're updating it on Play Store and you needed to add a permission because you were adding a new feature, like let's say you were adding location awareness to to a traffic app or something right. in a later release, uh, well, you'd have location at the beginning, but let's just imagine. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. What would happen is that the, the update would require the user to go into Play Service and play, excuse me, Play Store and actually say yes to the upgrade. Now with uh, the new permission model, it will just update automatically, and it's only when the user goes to use the app does the permission come up. So it's better for the developer and it's yeah. better for the user. And, and it, it makes more sense when you think about it. Right. It's like it's almost common sense, and it's yeah. you know instead and also like sometimes a bad experience. Like I pick a new app in the right. app store, and then it has this hundred permissions. Right. Yeah. For, I don't yeah. even know what the app does yet, and exactly. I have to give it. So exactly. I, I really like that yeah. update. It's uh, so it's pretty and cool. The, the other thing just to mention is that you can also go into the settings, and you can actually turn off permissions as well. So after yeah. the fact. So. Yeah, exactly. So if I don't like that I've given right. this app permission, right. I can change. And exactly. That's really, really cool. And it's, it certainly just makes for a much friendlier user experience, right. which exactly. is great. So, yeah. Now, one of the other things that I really enjoyed was the, the Doze, right. <laughs> you know, which is a, a yeah. nice name. Because I have exactly the scenario that you mentioned. I have a tablet, and I'll sometimes right. leave the tablet. Yeah. And you know, maybe I didn't close the cover right on the right. tablet or something right. like that, and suddenly I come back and there's 20% battery right. left, you know, exactly. that kind of stuff. So Doze is really cool for that. Yeah, so it's just like, it's kind of trading off. So, you know, Android's kind of pretty amazing that it's it's sort of almost over-optimized in freshness. Everything's always the latest information. Um, but I think what we realized was that, especially for the tablet use cases, users were actually willing to have, like, hey, you know, it's okay if it's like if it's out of date for like 10 seconds. I'd rather that, but my tablet lasts twice as long. Yeah. Yeah. And so the idea with Doze is basically uh, we use significant motion detection to detect if the device has been left alone for a long time. Okay. And then we start exponentially backing off. So going to deep, it'll basically it'll go to sleep, wake up for a little bit, then it'll go to sleep for a longer period of time, wake up for a little bit, then go to sleep for a longer period of time. Yeah. So it backs off. Yeah. And what that does is it reduces the standby current. Uh, that's been drawn on the battery, and so it'll extend the battery life significantly. So we're seeing, um, and we mentioned this in the keynote, we're seeing like up to two times longer in standby if you just leave the devices alone. Um, and so we're still working on it, by the way. That's the other thing to remember. This is a preview release. This is not yeah. launched, and so we're still tweaking and making it better, but you know, initial results are looking really good. And uh, I mean, For a preview, it still looks pretty good, right? Yep. It's, yeah, it's, we're, it's, we're pretty it's happy. It's kind of solid. And yep. So it's cool. So, uh, so then one of the other things you were talking about was the uh, Type-C USB. Right. And we're beginning to see that like in yes. lots of places yes. now, right? So uh, Yeah, so I think the number one thing, actually I think it was like the biggest cheer I got <laughs> was for like <laughs> not having to do this. To your, which yeah. side is it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so because USB Type-C, of course, is flippable. It's symmetric, yes. right? Yep. Um, and so uh, we've been working with a bunch of manufacturers and sort of helping this. We actually had a lot of people people uh, in Google work on the standards for USB Type-C, so it's something we've been very heavily involved yep. with from the very start. Um, and, uh, and it's got a couple other nice features. You can run DisplayPort over it for video out. You can, um, if, you're, if the device supports that, you can uh, charge much more quickly. So what you basically do is, you're, rather than the old school USB being like 5 volts and relatively low current, now what you do is you actually step the voltage up and, and you have higher current and voltage, therefore higher power, so you can charge more quickly. Okay. Um, so like up to three times faster, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, we had to do a couple of little tweaks to the OS because, you know, you might have like, you know, you might have a phablet and a tablet and you plug them into each other. Who's charging who? <laughs> and so you can now choose the direction of the current flows. So. Yeah, that, that was the thing. I, I, just, I never even thought of that scenario right. where I could use my tablet to charge right. my phone if right. I need to make exactly. a phone call, right? Yeah. And it's, yeah. I was like, kind of cool. Because yeah. like, yeah. I usually carry one of those little battery right. packs yeah. but, as well as my tablet yeah. and my phone, but now I can get rid of that exactly. if I need to. So that's <laughs> pretty cool stuff. So there's, like, I mean, so much stuff that you're announced and it's only a preview. Right. Right, so I'm sure there's a whole lot more good stuff, and I know we can't talk about it now, but it's like what I just, you know, I'd encourage folks to go out, download the preview, yeah. have a play with it, download the SDKs when they're available, have a play with developing for Android M, and any last messages on Android M? Any last? No, please, please do exactly what you said. Download it, try it out, find some bugs, file some bugs. We're happy. We want to, we want to fix as many things as possible. Try the new features, and like you said, there's lots of things we can talk about. Like we've added Bluetooth stylus support, MIDI support. There's just a bunch of really cool things if you. There's MIDI look, support. MIDI support, yeah. So you can oh, plug your drum kit that. in. Uh, <laughs> so rock out on M. Okay, cool. So thanks very much, Dave, and thanks everybody for watching. Go ahead, download Android M Preview today.